Ring of Hercene was equipped. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Hold on a second. <laughs> you cannot unequip this item. <laughs> Causes the wearer to randomly become a werewolf. I said I would take it to Hercene. All right, we are back in Skyrim with Eldman Iron Eye and all of his faithful companions in the background there. Because quite obviously, Eldman and the traveling team have made their way home to the camp in Falkreath in the intervening time since the last episode. We came back to the camp in Falkreath because we intend on continuing our endeavor to keep a clear quest log, or at least try to stay on top of our quest log. We made promises to try to help some of the people of Skyrim, and we're going to try to make good on some of those promises as best we can. Very specifically, there is a family in Falkreath who asked us to investigate the murder of their daughter, and we said we would at least go talk with the main suspect, a man named Sinding, who I believe is being held in the barracks in Falkreath. So we're going to head down there and see if we can have a word with him. Now, we're pretty much ready to head out. We've actually been here a couple of days, so everybody's had a chance to rest. We replenished all our supplies. We sold off all the goods that we picked up on our adventures, and I think we're ready to go. So, gentlemen, if you would not mind following me, we can head right out. I was also, oh, yes, nice, there he is. I was also very happy to find that Loki is still here. I was a little worried he might have disappeared because he is a forced custom follower. And uh, sometimes follower frameworks can get a little buggy with um, custom followers. They might, uh, sometimes they behave weirdly or perhaps disappear. He is actually wearing the original clothes that he would wear in like the vanilla cart ride beginning of Skyrim, but whatever. If Loki is happy wearing those clothes, then we're just happy he decided to stay with us. All right, let's head out down to Falkreath, see if we can find this guy in the barracks. As I've mentioned, we've been here a couple of days, so we've already run back and forth to Falkreath a couple of times, selling things and picking up supplies. So I do indeed know the road is still clear. We shouldn't have to face any bandits at this choke point up here. I also stopped in and talked with the um, Jarl steward, trying to see how close we were to buying uh, property. Oh boy, it's going to be quite a while. As I've mentioned, I have many mods on the game, but I have a couple of economy mods that... Um, very specifically raise the starting price of all land and property and houses. I think everything starts at a minimum of like $15,000. But also, uh, there's inflation, so the prices just keep going up. And uh, I went over there with like 16 grand wondering, oh, maybe we're kind of close, but I think the uh, property was at like 19.5. <laughs> it's going to be a while before we can afford anything. So instead, we spent a bunch of money. I think we have like, what do we have? We have $7,000. Yeah, instead we spent a bunch of money on sharpening all our swords and upgrading all our equipment, so we're ready for adventure. Now, there's only like two things we have to do in this area. We have to investigate this murder, and also there was a dog that we said we would we would try to help if we could. We found a talking dog, <laughs> so we'll follow him to his cave, I think. But then, medium to long term, I'd like to pick the camp up and start moving east towards Riften. And I'd like to start investigating the rumors we've heard that they're reforming a Dawn Guard. That's been on my mind. So that might be up next. All right, I think the barracks are over here. Are you sending? Oh, I bet you're sending. Hello, sir. I'm just going to go talk to your prisoner if you don't mind. Excuse me, sir. I'd love to have a word with you if I could. Sending, just the man I'm looking for. Come to gawk at the monster. Uh, no, I actually came to ask you some questions. I hear you attacked that little girl. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just lost control. I tried to tell them, but none of them believed me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. What ring? This is the ring of Hersing. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to, but I'll never know. All right. Hersing didn't care for my taking it and threw a curse on it. I put it on. And the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times. Like with the little girl. What kind of transformations? I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. I am one of them. A werewolf. It's my secret and my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. I 
had just come into Falkreath. They needed some help working the mill, and I thought that would be something safe, something I could do. When I saw the little girl, I was just... I could feel it coming on. I could taste it. I needed to hunt, but this pitiful, limited body wasn't meant for hunting. Slow, no claws, weak, mashing teeth for shoeing cud. I held in my rage as long as I could, but it boiled inside of me. She looked so fragile, helpless prey, and then I... I feel terrible about what happened, about what I did. It would probably be best for everyone if I just went away. Who is this Hercene? Do you not know the Daedric Lord of the Hunt? He revels in the chase and also gave the gift of lycanthropy to mortals. A powerful hmm. force not to be crossed, as I learned too late. And what will you do now? I've been looking for a way to appease Hercene. There is a certain beast in these lands, large, majestic. It's said that Hercene will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my accident with the child. Mm -hmm. I want to beg his forgiveness, give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free. I can take that ring to her scene if you'd like. Oh my, you would do this for me? Here, take it. I, I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and uh, the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck, but you leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, I will remember your kindness. Farewell. King of Ring of Hercene was equipped. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Hold on a second. <laughs> you cannot unequip this item. <laughs> Causes the wearer to randomly become a werewolf. I said I would take it to Hercene. Oh my god. All right. All right. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, that wasn't me. I didn't do that. <laughs> he doesn't seem to care. Looks like your prisoner got away. All right, whatever. Whatever. All right. I guess with some haste, we are going to go try to find this great beast in Falkreath. <laughs> Um, we're at least going to get out of Falkreath as quickly as we can, because I, I don't know. It says we're going to transform into a werewolf randomly, wearing this ring that we cannot take off. Let's get everybody to follow us. You guys fall in line, and let's go find out what kind of great beast we have to slay. I'm assuming it's going to be a werewolf of some kind, or I guess if, um, Hercene is a werewolf, maybe it won't be a werewolf. Maybe it'll be like, I don't know. All right, let's get the hell out of here. And let's go see if we can find whatever great beast we're supposed to slay for her scene. Hopefully we can slay this beast, hand this person the ring, and get the heck out of here. <laughs> Something tells me this is going to be more complicated than just killing a great beast for her scene. <laughs> if I am stuck with lycanthropy for a long time, I'm going to be an unhappy camper. <laughs> also, Sending just, like, escaped. Are we going to get in any trouble for that? Like, is there just a werewolf roaming the lands now? Maybe we should have left him with the ring. I'm not sure we did the right thing here. I guess we'll find out. All right, I'm pretty sure it's up this way. Let's, um... Let's go ahead and equip our helmet. Make ready our weapons in case it is some coven of werewolves. What do you call a group of werewolves? A parliament of werewolves? Just looking for a river. Here's a river. Are you the great beast for me to slay? I can lock onto you. You're white. That's not normal. You don't seem very terrifying. <laughs> or beast-like. Alright. Alright, Mr. Elk. I'm sorry, but I have to hedge my bets, so... We're gonna slay you. As I don't see any other beasts around here. Alright, let's go. Oh, you little bastard. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, boy. Oh, you're gonna lead me to a werewolf den, aren't you? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. 
I have been playing a game that requires me to push a different button to sprint, and so I just I just crouched instead of sprinted. How do you sprint? That's how you sprint. All right. Oh, uh, we're basically just gonna have to trap you in a corner, aren't we? There we go. One hit. How is that a great stag? Did you have anything on you? Oh shit. There's an aspect of her scene that is not hostile. Can I talk to you? Well met, hunter. I can. Are you her scene? I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glorious stalker that your kind calls her scene. Will you remove the curse from this ring? I may consider it. <laughs> but you must first do a service for my glory. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt, but only ends up trapping himself. Seek out this rogue shifter. Tear the skin from his body and make it an offering to me. Ah, uh, Is it the... It's gonna be Sending. <laughs> He's the one that stole the ring. All right, I'm, I'm, it sounds like it's going to be Sending. And while he's done us no wrong, he did kill a little girl. I also really don't want to be a werewolf. <laughs> All right, we're going to do it. He escaped. He killed a little girl. That much we know. He admitted to it. If it is indeed Sending, we're going to do it. It shall be done as you ask. Fly, my hunter. There are others who vie for my favor. I don't I'll vie for your favor. <laughs> Don't dally while the prey flees. I am not vying for your favor, sir. I just want this thing uncursed. <laughs> All right, let's head back to the camp. We'll grab the horses. And it looks like Bloated Man's Grotto is north of here. I think I know where it is. We'll see if we can find this sending. Normally, I would not be keen on just killing a guy at the behest of a god, but... Sending has done wrong. I also feel like he kind of tricked us into taking this ring. I mean, we did just straight up offer. It's not like he asked us for it, but like, it would have been nice if he was like, don't even touch it because you're going to get stuck with it. We got to go this way. If you even pick up this ring, you're going to be stuck with being a werewolf. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming this is it. Yes, indeed. All right. Let's head in and find out if we do indeed have to kill Sending. In we go. So far, so good. Looks like there's a bonfire or a camp here. Oh, dead hunters. Hercene did say other people were going to um, be trying to hunt this guy. Join the hunt. Hmm. All right. Jakir. Looks like he's still alive. What happened here? The prey is strong. Stronger than the hunters. But mm. more will come. Bring him down for the glories of Lord Hirsin. <laughs> Alright. Kill Sending. Indeed. That is what we are tasked with doing. Alright, let's see if we can find him. I suppose we'll charge in willy nilly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You, why? Where are you? Oh boy, I've been sent here to kill you, my friend. And I would deserve it, wouldn't I? I can't mm. stop you if that's what you want to do. Hersing is too powerful. But if you spare me, I can be a powerful ally to you. And I would promise <sighs> to never return to civilized life. I know now that I can't live among people. Oh, God. Oh, my God. All right. Well, I don't feel like we it's that we cannot defy her scene. That's not the right answer. More that Eldman wants this ring off of his fingers, this cursed her scene ring. But, I mean, it's not up to us necessarily to play executioner for this guy. Probably he he probably should pay for his crimes. But I suppose if we can have a conversation with him, let's tell him we we're going to tell him we can spare his life. I will spare your life. Thank to God. Now let's deal with these other hunters. We hunt together. Oh, boy. I, there's no good answer there. <laughs> All right, Sending. <laughs> let's see if we can find these other hunters. 
I'm sure this is going to be fantastic. A bunch of bow-wielding hunters, I'm sure. Alright, this is actually my second time now trying to defeat these hunters. I think I've run into, hopefully, what is not a game-breaking bug. The best advice I was offered is to reload an earlier save, but I've got us up to this point. Uh, but we got to a point where we killed all the hunters and it still said, Kill all the hunters. So, I'm gonna give it another shot. And we're gonna hope that I can actually kill all the hunters and trigger the next part of Thanks this quest. We shall see. Yeah, let's see if we can get these guys. Don't you dare! Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! Nice! Alright. One set down. Hopefully this works out. Here comes the next round. Careful. They've got arrows. Nice. Good job, Sending. Alright, I'm going for the archer. Don't you hit me! The white hate me! Nice. You fall down and flee to death. Who's left? <laughs> All right. What was that? Someone there? More archers. Careful. Over here. Uh, you'll be fine, Sending. <laughs> what is this? Don't you dare! Can't see. There we go. Alright. Unfortunately, this quest is completely bugged. I have now played this quest three times, quite literally the third time from the start of this very episode, just getting back up to this point. Uh, but it is completely bugged. I cannot kill the last set of hunters completely. However, I did find a console command uh, to just set this quest as being done so that I could take off the ring. So, we've taken the ring off. I have no idea what how I'm going to make sense of any of this in editing. But, uh, I was going to recap all of that outside of this room. However, since I've set the quest as done when we stepped out of here, her scene is actually waiting for us out here. I didn't talk to him, I me immediately just exited the conversation, came back in here, and figured we'd go outside and find out exactly what it is he has to say to us about what we've done here. Actually, you know what? Let's put on our helmet, because I imagine he's going to be none too pleased. Oh, well, we also found this new wolf shield inside of this cave, so I gave Eric our, um, our moonstone shield. Alright, let's head out and see how displeased her scene is with what we've done here. Well met again, Hunter. So I set the stage in the console command as if we had spared Sinding, and so he's still in there alive, and the quest is finished as if we saved him. We're going to tell him we failed to bring down Sending. I don't know the necessarily that we want to turn against him right now. Let's see what he says about this. I failed to bring down Sending. Not a failure, my servant. By bringing down my other hunters, you turn the chase inside out. And they were no base prey. You continue to amuse and impress. No. <laughs> With my blessing. All right. Well, there we go. I suppose I didn't need my helmet on. I thought for sure he was going to be upset. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to necessarily tell him we defied him. I mean, I don't really care. He can he can be the god of the hunt. I don't really care about that. <laughs> it's just we're not going to be serving him. All right. I thought you looked a little suspicious. Will you, though? Oh, there's more people over there. Oh, Brutus is all by himself. Hurry, Eric. Hurry, right, yes, fire your weapons. Nice. 
Get him. Oh, oh, I got hit by somebody. What am I being hit by? Ah, an arrow. God damn it. I'll tear you to pieces. Don't shoot at me. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna have to be taking potions. <laughs> All right. Bandit fire mage. Luckily, they did not fire upon us. All right. I am all discombobulated from all of the... Just the online research I've been sitting here doing trying to figure out can I even get out of this quest or am I stuck <laughs> as a werewolf forever? So let's take a minute to catch our breath. Also, it looked like this guy had a cool helmet on, which we might steal from him. What did he have? He had a steel plate helmet. We'll take a look at that. And some steel plate gauntlets. Very interesting. We'll give those to Brutus. Brutus should be in... Uh, in some nice steel plate gear eventually. All right, the ambush has been dealt with. We grabbed all their gear. Eldman's got a spine injury and a torso injury and a head injury. It's gonna be a few minutes. <laughs> we'll head back and grab the horse here. I guess the horse ran in fear. But we are pretty close to Whiterun. So we will go tell Fralia I think that was one of the things we were supposed to do, is report back to Feralia that her son's okay. Though I'm sure she knows at this point, but still, it's in the journal. And I guess technically the uh, the quest is actually done. The Ill Met by Moonlight. Sending Werewolf quest. I was a little worried setting the stage was just going to be like forced done, but we got a chance to talk with Hersene. And he forgave us for not killing Sending. Nice. Alright. Well, we were on our way to Whiterun. <laughs> But a very odd quest just popped up that said, Free the Elturel Nymph. I'm a little worried that Eldman's not in great shape. We'll just peek over the ridge here and see if we can see what the hell's going on. Oh my goodness. All right, there's a saber-toothed tiger, a giant. Oh, a bunch of people coming at us. Nope. I don't know what's going on. Eldman's not in great shape, but it looks like... There's some people in need, so let's see if we can give him a hand. We may go ahead and take a potion. We're certainly in need of it. Alright. Oh, it looks like it's a storm cloak. I'm not sure what's happening here. The quest popped up said, Free the Elturel Nymph. I guess it's in that... No, I don't know. Defeat the Saints Bandit Leader. Alright. I'll follow these guys. <laughs> I think we're in the middle of a, a Stormcloak battle and something else. There's another saber-toothed tiger. <laughs> this is just chaos. Oh, get over here. I'm trying to hit you. Get over here before I run out of steam. Nice. Caught you. Alright. It looks like maybe this giant is friendly. <laughs> oh, there's still somebody else left. Eh? Alright. Defeat the Saints Bandit Leader. Investigate the Saints Camp. Oh, you know what? I think this is, um... Saints and Sinners. It's like a, um... New Bethesda quest. Are you the Nymph? The Manic Elytra Nymph. Alright, let's talk to it. It squeals. A bug? Did the bandits lock you up? It squeaks. <laughs> All right, it seems I have no choice but to make this thing follow me, so... <laughs> I guess this bug is coming with us. Oh, no, we can set him free. Do I want a bug? <laughs> it seems like we have eight choices to keep him and one to set him free. <laughs> I guess we can keep a bug. Do you want to come with me? It squeaks. All right, let's go. We freed the nymph. Man, I don't know what the hell is going on. This has just been... I don't even know what sense I'm going to make this in editing. 
This is a crazy episode. <laughs> Bethesda games are nothing if they're not chaotic. All right, let's check the camp and see what they had. We picked up a note and a quest marker said to read the note. Man, they got a lot of interesting stuff. I don't think we're going to take any of it. It seems powerful, but not our style. We certainly don't want to appear like we're Thanks part of whatever this bandit gang is. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, little fella. All right, that bug makes way too much noise. All right, a little bit of unexpected chaos, but we looted the camp. We're going to leave them with all their gear. It doesn't seem like it's our style. I told the nymph to wait here for now. He's very loud. <laughs> he kind of stomps around. But we picked up a journal. Let's take a look at the Saints Bandit Leader's Journal. Now, this is what I call easy coin. I'm proud to be one of the saints. Every few days, Riyasad comes down the road and his wares are ours for the taking. We don't take everything, mind you. If he don't got nothing to sell, he can't stay in business. And then where would we be? We just skim a bit off the top each time. Kinthal should be happy with our latest take. He'll be leaving his camp up near Carthwaston to pay us a visit soon. Those damn seducers were eating into our profits until we drove them off up north. Other merchants pass through those parts, so maybe they'll stay gone. Sounds like there's a mystery afoot. Unexpected mystery. All right, we did have a goal in mind. <laughs> we were trying to make our way over to Whiterun so we could talk with Fralia. And so we're going to try to continue to do that. Yeah, I think that is a um, modded quest line that was added with the Anniversary Edition. And I don't know that we talk... I think you get it from talking with one of the... Um, one of the, uh, like, Riyasad or something. And I don't know that we talked to him yet, but... Either way. Hello, adventurers. Alright, let's go see if we can find Frolly and let her know her son's okay. I don't remember if he said he was gonna come back here, or maybe he said he was gonna head right over and join the Stormcloaks and help them with the rebellion, but... If that is the case, we can let her know her son's okay. Fralia, I come bearing good news. Your son Thorold is safe. Is he? You've saved him? I must see him at once. I'm afraid he's not here. He didn't think it was safe for him to return. What? After all this, I can't even see him? How? How do I know you're telling me the truth and not just what I want to hear? He said to tell you to suffer the winter's cold wind. For it bears aloft next summer's seeds. That's my boy. So it's true then. For now it's enough to know that he's alive. I can find peace in that. Thank you, dear friend. You've given me back my son. I'd had Jorland forge this for Thorald. It was to be a present for his return. I suppose he can't have it now. Why don't you take it? We can always make another for the day when this war ends and Thorold can come home. Oh, thank you very much. All right. I think that's where we're going to leave it. My goodness, this might end up being a bit of a chaotic episode. I have no idea how long this is going to be once I get it all edited down, but I've been at this for quite some time dealing with that ill met by Moonlight bug. That can happen with Bethesda games, especially when you mod the heck out of them. So it is to be expected on occasion. When we come back, I think we'll be heading back to Falkreath and seeing if we can find that dog that we promised we would help with his master. But we will do that in the next episode, so subscribe for more Skyrim, and I'll see you next time. Stop.